Hey, what's up everybody? It's Larry Lursey. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a lot of fun. In the past, we've done some more deep dives into some of the features that you can find in Luminar AI, how to use the specific tools that it has. Today is going to be all about speed and efficiency. We're going to take some images and just throw them in, hit them really quick with the template, and just show you how you can literally, with just one or two clicks, take an image and totally transform it. It's going to be a lot of fun and show you just how simple and versatile this software can be. If you don't already own Luminar AI, there's a link in the description where you can go and uh, order the software and uh, use it yourself, maybe even follow along with this video. I'll even give you a discount code you can use to get the software at a discount. If you haven't done so already, I hope you'll take a second to subscribe to the channel. Really does help, and I want to see you coming back for more content. But, ready to jump into the software if you're ready? So without any further ado, roll the intro. All right, so here are the images that we're gonna work with today. I feel like we got a pretty good cross section of got a couple of portraits, an animal, sports shot, just kind of a city scene, a cityscape. I'm gonna see what we can do with these just really quickly using the templates and just kind of the one click uh, work on them. We can maybe go in on one or two of them and, and, and tweak things a bit, but I'm gonna try and see how quickly we can get uh, to a noticeably different image and how successful we are with those results. So these are the ones we're gonna try and let's jump in. All right, here we are in Luminar AI, and uh, I've got these images pulled into the catalog. I did this by going up here and doing add folder of images, and I had a folder called samples, and it's brought them in now. So here are the six images that we're gonna work with. And again, what we're gonna try and do is jump in and out. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of editing. Maybe we'll pick one of them and do a little more uh, edit to it, but the others we're gonna try and just show off how quickly you can go in and change an image and like say in under a minute uh, you can get a pretty drastic change so let's take um, this shot for example you're just going to go to templates up here it's going to give you suggestions of which ones it thinks might be uh, good for you or you can come down here and you know look under portrait and find a lot of these same things you just basically pick a category these are your options and it's just a matter of clicking on one give it a few seconds to make the change and um, boom, it's done. If you're happy with this, it's just a matter of exporting it and going on to the next image. Uh, so this can be really great if you dial into a style that you like and uh, come up with a template that really works for you. Otherwise, it's really quick to just jump through, uh, try different ones to see what they look like, and uh, one at a time, just sample them until you come across one you really like. Uh, I think this marquee works really nicely. It's warmed things up and uh, given it just a little bit of a glow, you can uh, click this up little uh, before after slider and see that uh, really if you look at the eyes we've added a ton more glow to the eyes the face has been slimmed a little bit the whole thing's kind of been warmed up and uh, it really is pretty quick so just like that um, you know you bring in the image the template click on the template you want it takes a few seconds you know it's what 10 seconds to do the whole thing uh, and then just export it back to a uh, to Photoshop and you're done so, uh, or you actually, you can just do it to your disk. You don't even have to involve Photoshop. So it really is fast. So let's jump into another one. Here is just a uh, city scene here. Uh, nothing spectacular, but we're going to see if we can give it a little more punch. And what this would be is we would come back here, look at its suggestions on all these different ones. You know, it's urban style. Seems like a, a pretty easy option. And again, you just come through and you click on them and see if it works for what it is you want to do. Um, that gives it kind of a contrasty type of look. You can easily drop back here and look at other ones. You know, you can go to this big city lights and see what some of these do. And it's just a matter of trying them all out until you find one that matches. Um, take this, for example, this street theater. Very nice look that it has, but it's a subtle look. If we see the before and after, we can see changes. If you look here in the building, for example, um, it definitely is bringing in some uh, snap to that. It's shifting the color a little bit, probably correcting it closer to what it was, but giving it a lot more punch. Uh, and the whole thing's just got a little more of a contrasty, maybe even a desaturated look. But it, it definitely works. And what you could do with an image like this is just to say, if you do that one touch, and this gets you pretty close, 
but there's st still a few things you want to tweak. Let me just show you within this what's happening. You can go to edit. Anything with a dot next to it means that it used that um, tool. So for example, there's one next to enhance. So we can see here that these sliders have been moved. So if you decide, you know what, I, I don't like what they've done with the sky, you can pull that back or you can do more with the sky, push that forward. So you've got the ability to play around with these things and tweak it if you're not exactly happy with how it is. You know, you've got other things in here you could do. For example, let's say we really like that this is giving it a little more of a vintage type look. You know, if we look from that to that, this definitely kind of, to me, has a little more of like an older camera vintage type look. We can play that up. We can come, for example, here to the creative, add a little film grain to it. Decide how much we want. Don't want to go too far with that. You could come through here, uh, maybe play with the dramatic. See what this is going to basically add some contrast and pull away some of that saturation. I think that kind of works for what we're doing here. You could jump over to um, Essentials, grab this vignette, and drag back here toward the darken, and start adding a little bit of a, of a vignette around the outside until you get the look. Let's look at the before and after starting to move farther and farther away from the original, but I kind of like this look we've come up with here, and even that was just a few more sliders. You can even come down here and save this um, new template you've created and be able to come back to this exact same look. So basically, there's all these templates to choose from, but you can make your own if one of these doesn't do what it is you're looking for. But let's keep on trucking. Let's do a few more here and see some of the other effects. Let's take this bike back into templates it's going to recommend some of these um, same ones. Let's let's do let's do the blockbuster this time. And you're just going to come through, click on one, see what it does. Brought out a little saturation there. We could play with this teal and orange, definitely kind of shifting the color. If we look at the before and after, definitely got some color shift going through there. And it's just going to be a matter of what you like. You may want to just go this film noir make it into uh, more of a black and white image, uh, which looks kind of cool on this as well. It's really just a matter of personal preference, but it's so fast, it's really even fast to try going through all these templates. You know, you can do a lot of these things that it's done uh, where you're messing with the contrast, the sharpening, the saturation. You can do all that in Photoshop, but it's doing all of it for you uh, based on its best guess of what, what it is that you're trying to photograph here in this image. And I think the fact that it's able to just guess on these things and get pretty close that uh, a lot of times one of these templates is going to get you right where you want to go and it's literally going to be just a one click. You click on it, you love the look that it gives you, um, and then all you got to do is export it and do whatever you want with the image. So let's jump on to the next one. Here's a portrait, which will be kind of interesting because it's already got kind of an older type feel to it. So I would love to have... Uh, an even more vintage type feel. Let's go under Easy Portraits and we could play with perhaps the vignette. See what this one does. Definitely gives it a little bit of a glow right there. It's kind of nice. We could do the fade. See what that gives us. And that's given us a, a nice kind of a look there. There's the before and the after. It's not a huge effect. I think part of the trick to using this software will be self-discipline. It's very easy to take an image and go completely crazy with it and throw 50,000 different effects at it. And maybe it ends up cool, maybe it ends up looking silly. But I like how this, when we look at the before and after, it's not drastically different. I do like what it's done here, but it doesn't look over affected. And I, I like that about this. Now, certainly, you've, like I said, you've got the ability to come in here and dial up even more craziness. But I think sometimes some of these just subtle effects are exactly what you need. And boom, you're on to the next image. Let's take a look at this. I brought this one in because this type of an image is going to be something, in my opinion, that's not going to be the best for some of these templates because uh, you're not going to want to give this a particular look. Let's take a look, for example, under, um, let's just take Blockbuster. And black and white's not gonna work. Let's try this teal and orange. And you know, you're gonna look through some of these and sometimes it's gonna turn it into too artsy looking of an image for what it should be, you know. Uh, this here is going through and you can see it's adding some saturation and some contrast. I think that looks nice. This might be one where you did something like this 
and just dialed it down a little bit if it's too intense. But it's a really quick, if you want to just give it a once over, I do think this looks nicer than this did. And so it is a way to pretty quickly add a look to it. And then you can decide if you want to go with one of the more way out ones. Like I think that's too much in my opinion. I wouldn't hit uh, this image with something like that. So I think this is going to be the type of image where you're not going to be using these templates as much. I think these are going to be ones where you're just going to go into the edits with the essentials and just play around with some things like your composition, your um, you know, the structure, enhance details, all those type things where you're tweaking the image, not trying to give it a whole different style, if that makes sense. Let's take a look at this character here and see what we can do with um, these horns and this fur. Drop back to some of our other templates, it's going to recommend the savanna. That certainly makes sense. And you can kind of see from the preview what look it's going to give you. I don't know that that always helps me very much. Instant results, you got to love what that claims. Um, it was really fast. You know, boy, when you look through here, the detail, uh, if we go to our before and after, I think the detail and the richness through here is amazing from here to here. So I love what it did that did there. I think it's a little too much here uh, with the hair. So I, I'm not a, a fan of, of this, but I like what this did. And maybe that'd be a situation where you would go in and try and mask some of this out. You could certainly do separate layers in Photoshop, that type of a thing. But you definitely want to try and make sure that you don't get carried away with one part of the image, that you love these and you don't realize that you've over sharpened here. So I would be inclined to pull this back until I thought that the hair um, looked more normal. And you're still getting a nice sharpening at the top. If you look up here, it still looks way better than it did. But now this here hasn't gone completely uh, bonkers on you. So there is going to be some balancing act when you're using these templates and deciding what kind of a look you want. Um, you know, here's one that's gone super warm. Do you want that warm? Do you want a cooler? Do you want a black and white? You kind of decide on the direction you want to go and then grab a template that gets you there. And like I said, with most images, it's literally a matter of when you're here in templates, you pick the one you want, it's one click, you give it a few seconds to work, and there you go, you've got your image done. As long as you're happy with that, you're pretty much done. You just go on up and hit export. So it, it really is just a one click affair. However, if you want to dig in and play with the editing tools themselves, which are much more powerful, you're certainly welcome to do so. And there you have it. It's quick, it's easy. Not all the templates are gonna work. Sometimes you click on one, you go, oh, that looks terrible. Every template is not gonna work for every image. You're gonna have to do a little bit of thinking and decide which one works better for your particular image or your particular taste. However, once you manage to get dialed in on which templates work best with which types of images, I think you'll find that it's a super time saver and really powerful. But those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you a fan of Luminar AI or do you prefer to just do all these things in Photoshop yourself? If you want to check out Luminar for yourself, you can use the discount code LARRYPHOTO and that'll get you a discount on the software. But that's all we have for this video. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.